Okay, it's safe to say nobody expected this. Google just announced a new family of open source models called Gemma. And this is the official tweet from Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google. Introducing Gemma, a family of lightweight, state-of-the-art open models built from the same research and tech used to create the Gemini models. The interesting thing is that benchmarks to be honest, don't really matter. Gemini was the best at all benchmarks. It was beating GPT-4 and all that. But like, if we go to Gemini Advanced, right, it's still much worse than ChatGPT. And why is that? Well, look at this, right? Create an image of a 17th century German village. This will show you like just how bad it is. Okay, first of all, it doesn't even do it because I guess I'm in a bad country. You know, Czech Republic isn't supported to create images. But like, look at this, right? Some other people created images with Gemini. Generate an image of the founders of Google. And it gives you two Asian guys. Like, this is insane. And this is only like the first example. Generate images of the American revolutionaries. Generate images of the British royalty. We got some Latin American couple. Then we got some shakes. I don't know. Early French novelists, a black woman and an Asian man. Interesting. Very interesting. So benchmarks, to be honest, do not really matter. It's all about like how useful the model is. And to be honest, open source is the way. Because unrestricted models, that, at least that's my prediction. This year, unrestricted models will become more useful than the all-powerful closed source models just because of like the amount of restrictions. So let's look at it. Gemma open models, responsible by design, unmatched performance and size. This is interesting. Gemma models achieved exceptional benchmark results at 2 billion and 7 billion sizes. Would like to see how it compares to Mistral or Llama. Quick start guide for developers. So Kaggle, Vertex AI, Colab, three options. Part of the quick start. So they got Hugging Face and as well as GitHub. Look onto that in a bit. So let's look at the benchmarks. This is MMLU 5 shot top 1. By the way, MMLU, even though it's like the most popular one, it's like, it doesn't really mean much, to be honest. We got Gemma 70B, Gemma 2B, Mistral 70B, Llama 2, 13B. Okay, so this is nice. It outperforms Llama 2, the 13B model, which is almost double the parameters. It also outperforms Mistral, but barely. And this is kind of funny because Mistral is like a small French startup compared to Google, which is like 100,000 employees, right? So shout out to Mistral. Okay, let's actually look at the technical report. Why not? I mean, nice graphics, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, pre-trainer carefully curated data and tuned for safety on top. Oh no, this is a very red flag. Accelerating academic research with 500k in Google Cloud credits. I mean, this is just to destroy OpenAI, to be honest. Like, they're willing to burn money to attract people. Compete to build the best AI assistant for ML engineers. Big tech companies sometimes do release open source stuff. It's called ecosystem lock-in. And, you know, when everybody's building with Google, you're probably going to be paying for, you know, Google Cloud, for Google Collab, Google One to get more storage, Google Workspace. So, yeah, for them, it's worth it to release some stuff, to lose some money, to attract people to their suite of products. Wait, what? They've got Discord? That's crazy. Anyways, let's look at the technical report. Any interesting stats? Llama, again, the same comparison. But it seems like Gemma is really the best at this size. Okay, so we have more benchmarks here. Um, Mistral wins on some of them. Basically, Gemma wins on most things or either Mistral. This guy has tried it in Google Vertex and he says, explain the events of the Tiananmen Square. And look at that. This interaction was redacted due to moderation. Why? Like, there is nothing controversial about that. It's a fact of history. I don't know, man. I don't know, Google. Now, this is the, you know, open, I mean, not open, <laughs> Hugging Face article where you can see how to set it up. We have the two options, I mean, four options, but two sizes. Okay, this is interesting. What license do we have? Gamma license. Oh, so they invented a new license. Oh, no. It all depends on the license. Like, you know, Mistral is Apache 2.0. Like, this is fully open. But these custom licenses are often sketchy. Gamma terms of use, read more. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. How does the following license differ from Apache 2.0? Let's see if ChatGPT gives us the answers. Gemma requires that any distribution of Gemma or its derivatives must include restrictions. Oh my God. Gemma includes specific use restrictions prohibiting uses outlined in a prohibited use policy. I mean, dude, is there really, like, can the model be really considered open when you have so many restrictions? If you have to follow some Google's guidelines, it does not an open model in my book. Now, I actually can't wait until, you know, Perplexity puts it in Perplexity Labs. If you don't know about this tool, it's really amazing. It's absolutely free, actually. And you can just test out different models. So I think they'll add it, honestly, in a couple of days. Try to get Google Gemini to make an image of a Caucasian male, someone like me. I guess we're now, you know, the discriminated peoples. I have not been successful so far. So like, create an image of a Pope and we have an Indian Pope and a black Pope. Actually, Balaji had an amazing tweet on this. And before I get into it, I want to ask you guys, if you are not subscribed, 
please hit subscribe because I'm going to be covering all the latest AI news. If you appreciate this kind of videos, please subscribe and I'll make more of them. Now, Balaji is a must follow person on Twitter. He's so many original ideas. It's kind of crazy. The party line. And this is in response to the Black Pope. Why is woke AI so obviously laughable? When generations of Hollywood movies did the same thing like the Black Cleopatra, the first and most important reason is X. Because Elon has root over the platform, formerly known as Twitter, new conversations can happen here that simply can't happen within the halls of Google. That's pretty clear when we get responses like that. Or like this, when you can't even discuss historical facts with Google's models. The second reason is that the developers cannot hide behind artist intent. Perhaps some director genuinely wanted Anne Boylan to be black, but most users don't want a historically diverse Vikings. I can confirm that as someone who watched the Vikings series. The third reason is that it is now undeniable to all that diversity is mandatory. Rewriting history in this ridiculous way isn't something you voluntarily do to be a good person. These are obvious lies enforced in code by the largest governments and corporations around the world. Google included. The fourth reason is that it's now impossible to miss the Soviet parallel. Just like every communist sign proclaimed that the workers of the world must unite, so too must every woke screen proclaim that diversity is our strength. Otherwise, one is accused of hating workers and minorities. The fifth reason is that this regime depends upon extreme levels of media centralization. But the means of Hollywood production are falling back. Shout out Sora. So now people can use near Hollywood quality imagery to deconstruct Hollywood quality fakery. And yeah, I guess this is why, you know, part of the reason why the response against Sora was so negative is because the power from centralized hands is going back to our hands, the people's hands. The sixth reason is that the regime has made too many enemies. It's gone after tech, Trump, Russia and China at the same time. It's attacking Bitcoin holders and crypto companies. It's pissed off both Europeans and Ukrainians. Unlike the 2010s, it just doesn't have many allies left willing to defend the party line. That gets to the last and most important reason. The power of this regime is waning. The fact that I can tweet this and you can read this means their evil is at least temporarily on the back foot. And make no mistake, it is evil. Because a regime willing to erase white men from history is willing to erase you from history. By the way, Balaji is Indian, so how do you stop that? Riding, yes, but also building. The long-term solution is to strip centralized power of its ability to do this kind of thing. Elon did this by part by restoring freedom of speech. Satoshi did this by giving us freedom to transact. Now we need to decentralize AI and to give us freedom of compute. Absolutely agree, especially the last part, like open source decentralized AI is the way. And that's why I believe in unrestricted open models so much. It's not because I'm, you know, want to do bad things with the model. It's because I don't want to have, you know, like history being rewritten by this insane guidelines that Google and OpenAI and the closed source centralized companies give us. On a more positive note, this is a new Will Smith Sora video. And let's see how long it takes you to realize that it's actually a real video. So actually, you know, Will Smith, after the slap, ruined his reputation. But honestly, I think this kind of restores his reputation a bit. And so many people thought this is AI, actually. It's kind of crazy. People are just so scared of Sora and they think everything's AI now. Use Midjourney, not Gemini. So these are, again, another examples. And I, like, you won't get this level of craziness with Midjourney, even though it's still a closed model. It's infinitely better in this regard. So I agree with Nick on this. Another big news is that X, you know, Twitter, is in talks with Midjourney for a potential partnership. And this could actually mean that Midjourney might be integrated within X instead of within Discord. Potentially, this is a pure speculation. But if that was the case, then, you know, X Premium or X Premium Plus would definitely become worth it. Because right now it's kind of a, you get the check mark, but you don't even get Grog. Like, I personally don't even get Grog because, again, I mean, Central Europe apparently is not worthy of AI updates. But this would be huge if we got Midjourney for, you know, X premium subscription, then I don't have to pay for two services and I would gladly upgrade to the highest X tier. Google's levels of AGI, which is from November, it's kind of old by now, you know, by AI standards, but we actually are improving on this uh, scale a lot more than people realize. So these are like the five levels of AGI, I guess six because level zero is no AGI. And right now we're like basically level one slash two, somewhere in between here. So level one, equal to, equal to or somewhat better than an unskilled human. So this is very clearly ChatGPT, like, definitely. Level two, competent, at least 
you have percentile of skilled adults. Now, ChatGPT could be here in terms of some specific things like spelling or coding. It's definitely better, you know, than 50% of people. But this is, I guess, the most common definition of AGI. Like, it's better than most people at most things, most economically viable things. And then superhuman, which is ASI. It's not longer AGI, it's actually super intelligence. So, I mean, honestly, like this, you know, we could even achieve this 2024, 2025. Expert, 2025, 2026. Virtual, so this could be like 2029, you know, a rare Kurzweil um, prediction. Now, this is a very interesting, you know, difference here because a lot of people think that once we have kind of a virtual, so AGI, ASI will be a matter of days, like it will be near instant. And I actually disagree because like if you just look at some of the, like even, you know, to mention Ray Kurzweil again, his difference is AGI 2029. ASI 2045. That's 16 years difference. I don't think this will be instant. I think there will be at least like five years difference, but we're definitely going to get AGI way sooner than anybody realizes. Now, if you want me to cover more AI news and, you know, give you the latest stuff, because this is literally two hours ago, then make sure to subscribe and it really helps out a lot.